All right, new agents, listen up. If you want results fast selling insurance, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you five tips to get the fastest results in whatever kind of insurance products you sell. So if you're looking to have a great entry into this business, a successful run and a successful career, then these steps might make all the difference in your efforts. My name is David DeFord, owner of DeFord Insurance Group. I train and recruit agents nationally to sell final expense, Medicare, and annuities face-to-face -face and over the phone. If you happen to like this kind of content, subscribe and like the video. And if you'd like to learn more about joining my agency, click the links above or below. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. So let's talk about how to get results fast selling insurance. We're going to jump right into it. Number one, pick one product to sell. The worst thing, guys, you can do, the absolute worst thing you can do is be a generalist as a new insurance agent. How do I mean by that? Well, if you follow the old ways of selling insurance where you get into not one product, but multiple products. You sell property and casualty. You sell homeowner's insurance. You sell renter's insurance. You have to know a lot more about a lot of different products. And the more you overwhelm yourself with different markets, different products, the higher likelihood is that you won't get anywhere. You'll be confused and confused people don't get results. They don't, much, don't do much of anything. Instead, what we advocate, at least at the Ford Insurance Group, is focusing like a laser beam on one particular strategy and going in depth to that strategy to become the best that you can be at. For example, we like to teach agents to sell exclusively final expenses, new agents in, 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 in most cases, because it's a great way to get involved in the business and even though it's a simple product it's not easy like all insurance products so it doesn't have to be final expense it could be anything that you know it turns you on that's a good product for you and you like it but be completely focused on that say yes to that and then no to everything else and it's likely you'll have a lot more success because you're able to focus and concentrate on that one strategy that one product and are able to help a lot more people because of your in-depth knowledge of it so start with one product that's number one number two start with one proven marketing strategy to utilize now this is kind of flies in the face of the typical strategy that you see out there which is diversification of marketing. This is not necessarily a bad strategy long term, but in the insurance business, it's very possible to find one marketing strategy that you can employ and then leverage and scale higher. Again, take for example, final expense. What I like to do with agents is start them off with either direct mail leads or some form of digital lead. And once they start to get traction there, then we scale that activity and that lead flow higher and we don't add any more lead opportunities within that, that mix. We just do more of the same thing that worked. And what follows along with that is more results, more success, okay? I've done this a number of times with a number of agents. It absolutely works. And it makes things simple, right? You don't have to know all the nuances of different styles and strategies of leads. You just focus on the one thing that works and scale it to the moon to get the fastest results possible. Number three on the list, pick one sales system to learn and implement. One of my best advice that I could give all of you out there is that once you find the product, the lead strategy, and then an agency to join that will teach you all this stuff, turn my channel off, turn other YouTube channels off, and completely dial into whatever it is that you're being taught. Why is that the case? Because sometimes when you go out there and you start researching different ways to sell insurance, you're going to get different answers to the same kind of questions. How do you approach pre-qualifying? How do you close? How do you present? And when you start to combine all of these different perspectives as a new agent, it's hard for you to decipher, should I trust this over that? Or is that better than this? And we're now adding complexity. We're adding confusion. And we're back to the same problem we had earlier, where if you're doing too much too soon, you're not going to be effective to anybody. It really does make a difference if you dial into and trust the organization. This assumes all of this, of course, that, th that the organization you're joining, they know what they're doing if this is the case. You have evidence of success. You need to just duplicate what is being done and what they show you. And it's better in the beginning to shut off all the other things that are out there, the distractions, and focus on the strategy that you're committed to learn. Guys, I can't tell you, if you get on YouTube or podcasts or Facebook groups and you start getting too much into the weeds of the different opinions and perspectives, it's going to confuse you. Half the time, the people that are telling you to do one thing are not even successful in their business. You wouldn't know it. They may present as someone who's being successful, but 
they don't actually have results. So you got to be very skeptical of what you hear and really have trust and belief that the organization you're going to join uh, knows how to train and knows how to be successful. And you leave them at just that and you focus on what their strategy is. Uh, number uh, three on the four on the list here is after studying your sales and marketing system for a few weeks, take immediate major action. Again, this is not a ready uh, get ready aggressively business where you have to train for months on end before you uh, can go out there and pull the trigger and make things happen. You should train no more than two to three weeks getting through the scripting, getting through the carrier training, and then you should take immediate action on the phone or in person to see the people and sell insurance because the real learning doesn't come inside the classroom or at home where you learn and watch the video modules, etc. The real learning comes by being in the field, selling insurance and learning from your mistakes and getting feedback and vowing never to repeat them again. And you'll see progressive, huge growth in your learning capability by simply doing just that. But by standing around and thinking, gotta know everything and know all the minutia and details is, is, is crazy. You shouldn't do it. In fact, the paradox of success is you can't be good at anything until you've done it for a while. So that means starting off, you're probably not gonna be that good, but you'll progressively and quickly get better and get to a better level of competency, but none of that comes until you actually do the thing. Which leads me to my last point, and this is really important. Once you get through all four of those other points, this really is the most important thing. There is nothing more important to getting immediate results than understanding your primary directive as an agent is what? From sunrise to sunset, it is all about seeing the people. There is nothing more important than seeing the people. The moment the sun is out, the prospects are waiting for you to show up and close them. Your job is to get out there or get on the phone and make it happen. When you do anything other than close business and see the people during the day, you are wasting your valuable, precious time and you're leaving people out there who need your help unhelped, at risk, at peril. So understand your primary focus in life. When you are through all the onboarding, you got the sales system, a marketing system down, and you're focused on one product, is every minute and second of your life is about getting in front of prospects on the phone if you're telesales or in person if you're face-to-face -face, and never ever losing sight of that very fundamental point. It's all about seeing the people. It's all about running appointments. It's all about trying to help people who have problems with insurance and doing that day in and day out. So that's how you get quick results. That's how you get traction in this business. And that is the beginning steps to seeing the magnanimous success that you can have in this business. And I invite you to come do it and check out how the Ford Insurance Group could help you do the same thing we described. You can click the links above or below to learn more about how this works in my agency. If you have any questions about joining or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you later.